السلام عليكم اف جي اف 21 ليفل اند ريليشن شيب اف جي اف 21 ليفل اند ريليشن شيب تو كارتكس فانكشن ان سي كي دي بيشنت Since the discovery of the first fibroblast growth factor almost 40 years ago, the FGF family has expanded over the years and they currently consists of 22 members with a wide range of biological functions, including cell growth, angiogenesis, wound healing, and metabolism. This figure shows the subfamily of AGFF according to the mechanism of action, paracrine, intracrine, and uh, endocrine uh, function. We know that FGF21 is belonging to FGF23 subfamily. FGF21 was first cloned, identified from the mass embryos by homology based BCR in uh, 2000. Human FGF21 is a polypeptide of 181 amino acids with 75% identity to the mouse. FGF21, uh, it is secreted predominantly by the liver, but also by other tissues involved in glucose and lipid metabolism, such as adipose tissue, pancreas, and skeletal muscle. Renal excretion is a major route for FGF21 elimination. Serum FGF21 level has been shown to be increased in patients with inverted renal functions. Patients undergoing chronic hemodialysis have elevated serum FGF21 level more than 15-fold that of controls. Serum FGF21 concentration was associated with residual renal functions and insulin resistance in end stage CKD patients on long term hemodialysis. Patients with chronic kidney disease are at profoundly higher risk of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. Multiple epidemiological studies have demonstrated that both reduced renal functions and hyperinuria are significantly and independently associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular death. In multivariate adjusted analysis, patients with end stage renal disease had 10 to 20 fold higher risk for cardiovascular mortality. Such an increase in cardiovascular risk are not limited to patients with the most advanced renal disease on dialysis. This is mild to moderate chronic kidney disease are also at significantly higher risk of cardiovascular disease and patients with both over hyperinuria as well as microalbuminuria without reduction in stimulated GFR are also at significantly higher risk. The mechanism underlying cardiovascular risk in CKD are multifactorial and they begin early in the course of renal disease. Not only the traditional cardiovascular risk factors such as hypertension and diabetes highly prevalent in CKD population, but also non-traditional risk factors specific to CKD and incidental disease patients are also highly prevalent and contribute to this risk. This includes excessive stress, inflammation, endocrine dysfunction, anemia, excessive volume of road, malnutrition, abnormal calcium and phosphorus metabolism, infection, uremic toxin, as well as sympathetic nervous system overactivity. In the study, the study aims to assess FGF21 level and its relationship to cardiac dysfunction in different stages of CKD patients. Methodology. Patient were classified according to the GFR. First group are uh, healthy control subject, and according to G, uh, GFR, uh, classified to group 2, 3, 4, 5 from uh, stage 2 to end decision disease on regular hemodialysis three times per week. Exclusion criteria include overweight and obesity, uncontrolled hypertension, uncontrolled diabetes, cardiac valve disease, ischemic cardiomyopathy, and cirrhotic liver. All patients are subject to full history, detailed clinical examination, stressing on blood pressure. Body mass index, possibility of insulin resistance according to HOMA IR. Laboratory tests include kidney function, uh, lipid profile, fasting insulin, uh, and fibroblastic growth factor intact BTH. Echocardiography all subjects underwent two dimensional transthoracic echocardiogram and tissue Doppler imaging to measure left ventricular thickness, left ventricular mass index, and left ventricular function, systolic by ejection fraction and fraction shortening, and diastolic by early, peak, and delayed transmetral flow velocity. And tissue Doppler imaging done to the measure uh, what's called E dash that remain to early peak diastolic annular velocity. And E over E dash ratio are calculated to assess the diastolic function more accurately. As we show in this table, FGF level increased was with the progression from stage to another stage of CKD. Here in group uh, five, which uh, in decision is in regular dialysis. Uh, our patients are 20 to uh, 12 to 0.6 fold higher as compared with group 1. As this figure shows progressive increase in FGF21 level with the duration of renal function. There was no significant difference between diabetics and hypertensive and other etiology of renal disease as regard FGF21 level. This short figure show that left ventricular mass index increase with deterioration of renal function. 
the ceric function here by E over E ratio in group 5 is higher than other group, while in group 3 it is reversed. It's not normal, it is reversed. This means that there is increased left ventricular sickness uh, resistance against atrial contraction. By tissue doubler, E over E ratio increased with the duration of renal function. But what about the relation between FGF20 level and the parameter of ECO as regards the ventricular uh, mass index and uh, systolic and diastolic function? This table shows that FGF21 has significant positive correlation with the ventricular mass index and diastolic function, while it has no significant correlation with systolic function guided by ejection fraction and fraction shorting. This shows also positive correlation between FGF and the ventricular mass index and diastolic dysfunction. Conclusion. It may be concluded that the serum FGF21 level is increased from early to end stage renal disease and its increase is associated with deterioration of renal functions. FGF21 is associated with increased left ventricular mass index and diastolic dysfunction, but not associated with systolic dysfunction in CKD patients. Recommendation FGF21 has multiple metabolic actions, so it can be used in management of dyslipidemia, obesity, and diabetes. FGF21 can be used to monitor the deterioration of kidney function in CKD patients. Assessment of the relation between FGF21 and the cardiac dysfunction need more studies on large number of patients to be more clarified. Thank you.